Okay, so uh, let's see. Alrighty, so what is this, week uh, 14 or something like that? Uh, beautiful day, had some rain last night. Today is the 9th of August, 2019. Uh, bees definitely more defensive as far as because of the dearth currently, so they're wanting to guard what they have in stock. Uh, it's pretty normal to see less flight activity, but more presence of bees in potential uh, you know, entrances, especially the main one, because they're obviously wanting to guard guard what they have uh still you know i really wouldn't be now i will be opening this hive to uh, treat it the uh, third and final round mite treatments the terra pro the uh, reishi fungal extract but that's really the only reason i mean short of me seeing a significant drop in the population or something like that that tips me off to there being a greater problem. I'm just gonna leave them be, but once again, just for curiosity's sake, and because this is supposed to be an educational video, another quick uh, tip when opening a hive, try as much as possible to uh, not make the, uh, the lid pop when you're opening it. That can, uh, kind of put them into a defensive defensive mode so the more you can just do it gently slowly take the lid off it's definitely an increase of population with the bees I don't know if you can tell by uh, from last week but there is a population increase which is good got pollen sub on them uh, you know, I can't remember if my my video was kind of acting. Oh man, this is it's almost totally full. No, oh, yeah, that's that's good. <laughs> oh, and I think you know what? Now I'm trying to remember if we actually uh, if I gave them a two gallon uh, thing of syrup or if uh, they may have just gotten all of that from the robbing that they were doing. Uh, I had uh, had some robbing break loose due to my own fault but uh, you, know, you just pull a frame here for curiosity so the way the way this colony looks already I mean it's it's setting up great for winter uh, you know brood pattern looking great I mean look at this I mean, this is this is great the uh, patch that you're seeing that's empty that's just newly hatched this other side here good brood we're getting that mite population knocked down which is so so key this is a mistake that I made when I first uh, first started keeping bees here in Washington once again it looks spotty at first uh, at first glance but as you can see here bring this closer this is the thing too you have to you know uh, so the way you can tell whether brood is spotty due to a disease issue or because they're hatching, here you see brood that looks spotty, but look at look at all the bees that are actively hatching. I mean, you can you can see them not so much in that section, but down here. Uh, if you look really closely at the cappings, um, like there's one emerging. So if, if you have a bunch of uh, capped brood and spotty brood like this, but the ones that are capped, a lot of them are starting to hatch. There's eggs in all of this. So it's telling me that the timing of this brood is more or less been the same as far as hatching because it's all eggs, it's not a mixture. If you see spottiness like this and there's not really any bees hatching and you see larvae at all stages intermingled throughout, then you're probably starting to look more for a viral issue. But uh, if the larvae, I mean, if there's a lot of bees hatching on the frame, along with uh, eggs or larvae, they're the same age, then you know it's just a pretty normal 
life cycle. So I believe I gave them probably about, no, oh, I don't know, maybe three or four pounds of pollen sub. It is totally gone. They're turning that into a brood in their stores. Um, judging by the weight of this and the weight of that third box, I'm not even going to have to feed them. What I will do, though, is uh, I'm going to put this back and just leave them be. Like I said, I'm going to come here in just a few minutes and do their final final mite treatment. But uh, yeah, that's that. Um, so once again, I can't remember if I uh, explained this explain this in my previous previous videos or not, but the reason, oh yeah, that's what I was starting to say and I got distracted. So when I was up in Canada, in Manitoba, um, a lot of times our honey flow, you get a late honey flow sometimes, and so we would treat for mites oftentimes uh, around the mid-August, end of August, or even uh, sometimes beginning in September, but mostly in the later part of August. Here in Washington State, um, you can have a little water on the lens there, actually nectar on the lens. Here in Washington State, you can treat earlier. And so what you're doing is, you know, your mite population reaches its peak in July and August because that's when the bee population reaches its peak. You knock those mites down, give the hive a chance to flush out those viral issues that may be starting to become established. You're setting up the uh, bees that are going to overwinter to have a lot less viral loads than if you're waiting later in the summer to treat. Hopefully that made sense, what I just said. Um, so you're getting ahead of the viral issues getting established in the bees that are going to be overwintering, which is really, really important, obviously. That hive right now, uh, I'm going to obviously finish this last mite treatment, Terra Pro treatment. I'm not going to feed it anymore. Not Probably not going to give it any more pollen sub until uh, later in the month as well. Because once again, you know, bees can't tell the difference. If you're giving them a high quality pollen sub and uh, feed, in their mind, there's a flow going on. They'll keep growing, and uh, you can have some swarming issues. So you kind of have to walk that balance a little bit. But uh, other than that, uh, yeah, all the other bees looking good too. Uh, we're doing feeding, getting them up to weight, pollen sub. Um, you know, building up the later splits that we made at the beginning of July, and that's really uh, kind of where things are at right now. So, uh, yeah, just. Once, once again, I know I keep harping on it, but it's it's so overlooked. Mite treatments. Treat for mites. Treat for mites. Treat for mites. And make sure that you use a, a treatment that has been proven historically to be effective as well. So anyways, happy beekeeping. Talk to you soon.